are having a wonderful day. I am doing so, so. Thank you so much for asking. I am Queen M from Queen's Life, guys. And if I haven't mentioned it in a while, for my new subscribers, I just wanted to let you go, not guys know that pretty much um, my channel is about um, doll tree hauls, magic dollar hauls, uh, dollar zone hauls, uh, Walmart, Kohl's, um, Dollar General, Family Dollar, any store that I can walk through or any store that I shop in. Um, some of it may be beauty or me putting on makeup. Um, it may be uh, slight videos. Um, it could be unboxings. It could be test tasting. It's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So yeah, so guys, so it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Today is a vlog style. I wanted to update you guys. Today is the day of my catheterization. I don't know where they're gonna do it. There's three different spots, like in the neck, in the arm, or by the growing. I don't know where they're gonna do it. Uh, when I get there, I'll find out it's 7 in the morning right now. And uh, my dad is picking me up and Mr. E is going with me. Um, making sure everything is okay. If I can get an update while I'm in the hospital, I will do that. If not, I'll try to come in after when I get home or when I get out. And let you know what they found. If they tell me what the update is and let's just hope for the best guys so i'm not gonna say my usual goodbye because i'm coming back but i will see you guys later. so guys I'm here getting ready. I needed another EKG and I'm waiting to get more testing done before they bring me in to get the catheterization. They confirmed that they're gonna go through the neck already. Um, they have my oxygen here, my finger. Um, I'm, I'm just waiting on them now. I do have a whole bunch of machine hooked up to me. Um, I think it's gonna take about 45 minutes. Um, so let's wait and see what happens, guys. Um, like I said, they did the EKG already. They asked me all the proper necessary questions. Um, and they're about to hook my blood pressure machine on. And obviously they have the monitor going on. They're gonna give me injection to sedate me. Hopefully I don't feel any kind of pain. I'm hoping and um i have mr e here with me my dad is also with me in the waiting room um once they take me in then mr e has to go he can't go inside with me i think the procedure takes 45 minutes um i'm not sure if i'll be awake or they're gonna put me to sleep but um, after everything is said and done, um, I'll come back here and give you another quick update. Alright, one. I just had the procedure done. Um... I'm in the recovery room. They went through my neck and I 
have a lot of pain here and on my ear. Um, I can't go home yet. I have to wait one hour for the sedation that they gave me to go away. They have me on the monitor checking my steps. It was very painful. I felt everything. I have um, my blood pressure machine there. And that is the IV that I have um, right now. Um, they did um, give me lunch, which I haven't eaten yet. It's right here. They gave me um, tuna. They gave me two apple juice. A cup with ice. They gave me orange jello. And they gave me applesauce. So I could eat because I wasn't allowed to eat. When they put the injection here, um, the lidocaine or whatever it was touched a nerve and it's hurting my ear tremendously. Um, they don't know how long it's going to take for the pain to go away. So they're going to send me home with some sort of Tylenol. I do have my two masks right here um as you can see it's already black and blue i don't know if you could see in this part um it hurts a lot all this here they did say that the heart look good for my condition not for a regular person but for my condition um, they said they are going to give me medical clearance so I could get my sinus infection surgery so that's a good time um, you know I have a heart condition I have congestive heart failure and cardiomyopathy so for the condition that I have and, um, and for the surgery that I need, they said that the heart was okay um, so that I could go ahead and have that procedure done. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my lunch and I have to wait one hour. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they did give me sedation, um, so I'm sedated right now. Hopefully it goes away quick and they could discharge me. Right now the, the blood pressure machine is going off, squeezing my arm. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. Mm, my spirits are high. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm actually happy that 
I'm going to get medical clearance so that I could finally do the surgery for my sinus infection and hopefully be pain free. Um, you know, because when the pain is concentrated here and here in the back, you become irritated and your eyes hurt. So, um, I'm hoping that the next surgery would be a good thing for me and all that goes away. So I'm not gonna say goodbye yet. My famous goodbye, but I will see you. So they are making me eat before I leave to make sure that I feel okay. But I wanted to show you guys. Um, the machines that I have. Um, I do have them down here and more down in the bottom. So They gave me a tuna sandwich, which I have to eat. I still got my oxygen. Um, they're monitoring my oxygen. Right here. And they were nice enough to give me a TV right there um, I think I'm watching 48 hours that show so at least I have some TV to watch and I have to eat this I must say it's not bad That hurts. It hurts to swallow. I can't wait to go home and get some rest. Um, I want to see my son. I want to spend time with him. I want to hug him. I want to tell him I love him. Thank you all. For all of your support. The wonderful comments. They did give me good news, which I already knew the news. Um, I told you guys they did the COVID test. And of course, it came out negative. So I'm very grateful for that. Had it come out positive, I would never get to do this surgery. Um, I'm grateful to each and every one of you for standing by me, supporting me, giving me words of, of encouragement, praying for me, giving me advice, telling me that everything is going to be okay. And that means a lot to me. You guys are my family. I may not see you face to face, 
front to front. I may not be able to give you a hug, but you're still my family. I still get to talk to you. I still get to you virtual hugs. I still get to show you my appreciation. Um, and for that, I'm so, so grateful to my YouTube family for being here right now as I am here alone. But I'm not. You guys are here with me. And that makes me happy. Um, all of your concerns... I've read each and every one of it, of your messages, and like I said, I'll continue to keep you guys posted. Um, I wanted to see if this was kind of a better angle for you guys to see. I'm hoping it doesn't leave a scar. I already have a scar there. so. I'm hoping it doesn't leave a scar. Okay, guys. So, I got interrupted by one of the nurses. She wanted to give me my discharge papers. It seems like a lot. A lot of instructions. Um... I can't carry anything over five pounds. I need to get lots of rest. I can't remove this for 48 hours, I think. So I have to wait maybe another 25 minutes so I can leave. My dad is waiting for me. He's gonna take me home and just get rest the rest of the day um today is friday so so i think i'm gonna rest saturday and sunday i wouldn't want to get a hernia here so i need to follow doctor's orders um not to worry guys, I have pre-recorded videos for you, so I could spend a little bit of time with you guys each day. Um, and I'll see you guys in a little while, or when I get home. So, thank you so much for being here with me. Um... And I'm going to finish my sandwich with my apple juice. And later on, I'll eat my desserts that they brought me, the jello and the applesauce. I'll just eat that later. I can't eat it all in one shot. Um, and that's my update for now. If I have any more updates, I'll come right back. Might as well come in here and let you watch me eating my tuna sandwich like a little mukbang. Why not? Oh my god. At least it's not salmon. Oh god. That salmon. Mm-mm. I like tuna. But it just reminded me of that damn salmon that I just had. I wish it would have been this tuna. I don't know if you find that funny, but I do. Maybe it's the, <laughs> maybe it's the sedation. 
that they gave me. It doesn't smell that bad like the salmon does. <laughs> Thank God it's tuna. Because this I can eat. Oh God. The things I do. But I gotta thank Michael Finley for that challenge. It was a great challenge, which obviously, even after me being sedated right now, <laughs> I'm still traumatized because <laughs> it was that bad. Then, if you notice at the end of my video, I had to give it to, I had to give it to my doggy, my little puppy, my chihuahua, his name is Brownie. <laughs> he ate it like it was the best thing ever. He never gets table food. He always gets dog food. So to him, to him, it was a treat. And I had to record it for you guys. Because I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. I was like... I'm not gonna put my mom through that. Let me just give it to the dog. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll see you later. So guys, I'm back home. And obviously I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. Um. The last time I was here with you guys, I was sedated in the hospital. It was so funny because the sandwich reminded me of that salmon that I ate. And I thought it was so funny. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am back home. Um, I feel still the same because it's not like they did anything. I do have pain because they didn't give me any anesthesia. They gave me um, like a relaxant, but they didn't give me any anesthesia. So I felt the cut. I felt it go inside my veins and all that stuff. Um, and when they poked me, and it was actually in the jugular they touched like a nerve from the ear so my ear hurts a lot a lot guys um i'm not allowed to carry anything over two and a half pounds um he said that i needed a lot of rest he they did find my heart fair um for my condition uh, for example you as a healthy person it will come out a bad reading me as a person that has a heart condition the reading that it came back was not so bad it's not the greatest but it was good enough to give me the medical clearance which is what i need for my sinus infection so i was happy about that because i was a little worried that i wasn't going to get medical clearance and i had to deal with this for a lot longer and i just cannot take it any longer guys but um you see this here um that they put here i'm not allowed to take that off 
but I wanted to show you I don't know if it's gonna go away I wanted to show you how it's looking kind of hurts to move but just so you could see I'm gonna turn around and get it close I'm gonna get it close guys do you see all that black and blue right here well that black and blue is all around and I don't know if it's gonna get worse or if it's gonna get better look I could even see it from here so um i don't know if they got too close to a vessel do you guys see that comment down below if you see all of that have you experienced the same thing as i did it hurts a lot guys do you see Let's see if i could put it a little closer do you see that black and blue there so I'm not supposed to put any um, water, like take a shower. I'm not supposed to be able to wet it. I'm not supposed to take it off and I'm supposed to get a lot of rest. I know once again, I look kind of rough, but you know, on the bright side, everything did come out okay. And I did ask um, with all the blood work that they did two days ago two three days ago i forget guys i'm so tired um even though i always get um the covid test because i'm always in the doctors as you all know i just don't mention it in every single video um because of my heart condition and or you know my lupus condition and my fibromyalgia condition and all the other conditions that i have i always get the covid uh test done so i just you know just to ask i said well what were the results for the covid and they said that it was negative so i was like yes 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 or because if i would have came out positive they would have had to postpone the sinus infection surgery so uh, that was another thing I was happy about. I wasn't happy about the tremendous pain of, um, I don't know if it was a needle, a camera, or however it is that they do the catheterization. It was a lot of pressure and a lot of pain, but I got through it. I'm home and I wanted to come in here and let you guys know that I'm home, I'm safe um i'm gonna take the rest of the day off um watch some tv of course you guys because it seems like the last year that i've been focusing on um youtube i never get to watch regular tv or netflix or anything of that i catch myself all day all my waking time that i'm not home um watching you guys you know just a lot of times is you know to support you guys but i love it because not only am i supporting you guys but it's a learning process you know like you may know something that i don't uh you may know how to do some sort of crafting that i don't you may know how to decorate something that I don't. Um, so there's a lot of things that I find very intriguing and very satisfying. And, um, and I get to learn a lot of things from you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you for teaching me a few things that I didn't know. Um, I'm always looking to learn new things. I'm very open to new things and um, YouTube has given me that opportunity and I want to thank those that have done tutorials and basically unintentionally not knowing taught me a lot of things and um, I am grateful for that. There are too many of you to mention, and I don't want to mention a specific name 
because I don't want to leave a name out but it's most of you guys and I want, just want to come in here and say thank you um, for always bringing new information um, and giving me new knowledge I just absolutely love it I do have five schools under my belt um, for different backgrounds um, I am retired so I really technically cannot do any of them right now um, but that doesn't take away the fact that you can no matter how old you are no matter what it is there's always something new to learn out there so guys with that being said I wanted to let you know I'm home and I'm safe and for you guys like I always say don't forget to stay home, stay safe, be blessed, be happy. Most importantly, stay healthy, spend time with your family, create memories. Don't forget to be positive, spread that positivity and that positivity will always, always, always come right back to you.